came home today and my uh, remote sensor from my weather station was not working correctly, changed batteries and it's just not working, something electronic and it went wrong. So I've been looking at a lacrosse weather station online that the shortwave radio guy has. It's a color weather station. I've been wanting to order one. Anywhere from $50 to $75 online. Somewhere in there. And uh, I said, well, I don't feel like going through all that, ordering it, and getting it mailed here and all that. So let me check Sam's Club. So I went over to Sam's Club. Right there. The Lacrosse Wireless Color Weather Station. And it's got a mine my version has an atomic clock on it. You can see it's trying to read the, the signal from the atomic clock. If you don't know what a what the atomic clock is, it's the most accurate clock on earth. It's in Boulder, Colorado. The call sign is Whiskey Whiskey Victor Bravo WWVB. It sends a uh, signal at 60 kilohertz and basically there's a receiver in there that picks up that 60 kilohertz signal um, so it will automatically adjust itself now it says it takes up to three to four days for this barometric pressure sensor to uh, equalize to where it's accurately predicting the forecast because you can see right now it says sunny partly cloudy and it's showing your barometric pressure is steady which means like steady steady uh, weather when, it, when it's rising, conditions are going to improve typically with barometric pressure, and when it, it's it's lowering, typically conditions will worsen. It's got, now this is the remote unit sensor, I've got it outside, 45 degrees outside, steady barometric pressure. I love this part of it because my other one didn't have it. It's 54% outdoor humidity. Now, I have mine in a bag, tied. I don't know if it affects that or not. It may because I like to make sure it's not going to get wet. So I put it in a little plastic bag. I had my other one like that. That may affect that. But I'm going to start checking the local barometric pressure, see if there's any variance there. And then I can always experiment and take it out of the bag and leave it there and see if there's a difference. And then it's got the indoor humidity and temperature. It's got temperature alerts, indoor and outdoor. Comfort level, good comfort level right now. I love this thing. I'm, I've always been into these things. I've had mine for years and years, as far back as I can remember. I've always had at least the indoor-outdoor temperature gauge. In fact, I take it with me every summer. I've got Velcro underneath my t my trailer, and a piece of Velcro on the back of the remote, and I stick it up under there, so that I've you know while I'm in my trailer, I've got that too. So now I'll have to take this one with me. The indoor temperature still works on that one, so I just put it in the bedroom. It's a nice indoor indicator, but the remote unit's not working. They do sell them, but Radio Shack's going out of business, so I replaced it with this one today. Really impressed with it. It's a little bigger than the guy's on, the shortwave guy. His is about the size of this right here, but he doesn't have the atomic clock on his. I don't know, I like his too, because it's nice and compact, but in the trailer, I'll probably hang this somewhere rather than, you know, counter, counter space is precious in the trailer with all the stuff I got. So I'll probably hang it somewhere. Uh, it runs off. It runs off the the wall current. It came. It actually came with the adapter for that. I'm surprised. Most most places make you buy an extra. One, you know, an, an aftermarket or theirs. So it actually came with the power cord for the wall. And uh, it that way it runs a light continuously if you want it to. Now if you've got it, if it's running on the uh, three AA batteries, the light goes off after a while. So, you know, it preserves your battery. So it'll run either way, which is kind of cool because when I travel in the summer, I don't always have electric. So it'll be nice that the, it can also run on the batteries. My other one only ran on batteries, but it didn't have this cool color display. So this is the new Lacrosse Wireless Color Weather Station. I don't know how it knows I've got a daisy growing in my front yard, but I do, and it looks just like that. It's weird. Be cool if it had the sunspots on there, which affect radio propagation and showed solar flares. That would be cool. And then it showed propagation numbers like the K index and all that. So that's the new. And I had to rearrange the shack. I took the scanner and put it over here with the 7000. I'm going to take the speaker down. 
So, and then I had to take my uh, HTs and put them up there now. They used to be over here. But a little bit of my, you know, a little bit of, of uh, adjustment, that's all. And I gotta have this fan. I know it's not the most attractive thing to have in your shack, but 10 months out of the year, nine anyway, at least. It's so hot, you gotta have a fan on you continually, so. And that's a great fan. That thing really pumps out some air, so. Plus it's black like the rest of my shack. It's hard to find a black fan. So that's the new LaCrosse Wireless Color Weather Station. We're clear.